Congrats on starting your new business on Amazon. If you've already purchased a pack of ready-to-sell products by Selvia, you must have already received the report directly to your services section of the dashboard. Open it and you'll find the file that you're going to need now. It's your Amazon product feed. Could be 50, 75, 100 items or else, depending on your package. Now all you need to start is simply download this file to your computer and then you'll upload it correctly to your Amazon seller account, which we'll show you how to do in this video. And in case you don't have an account yet, please feel free to check out our step-by-step -step instructions on how to create it. You'll see the link below this video. Now, on to our product listings. What's GTIN? Global Trade. Item Numbers. GTIN are used to identify every product sold on Amazon. If you want to list your items for sale on Amazon, the platform needs you to have your product ID, also known as GTIN. If your product does not have a product ID, you might be eligible to request a GTIN exemption. So, to receive this GTIN in your Amazon seller account, click this blank form icon and then the Start button. Add your needed product name to the Item Name field, and Amazon will advise you on the correct product category. Confirm product type if it is correct, and if not, Simply edit it by clicking Edit, Proceed, and selecting the type that you think is right. Click Select then. Click I don't have a product for product ID and this product does not have a brand name for brand name. Right after that, you'll see this small note. Click on a knowledge. Now you simply need to repeat the process again and again until you apply for every major category you have in your product feed. What does it mean? For example, you have two products from the automotive category, air fresheners and cup holders. These are different products, but what actually matters here is that they both belong to the major category of automotive products and the additional category of interior accessories. So you can choose only one of them, either air fresheners or cup holders for all automotive category products. There's also a huge list of major categories you can use, but you will only need some of them or additional categories depending on the products you've got in your product package received from us. Open your data feed file that you've just downloaded in the beginning of the video, click the template tab and find this title column. These titles are correct, but they are the most basic ones. What we recommend you to do for a better performance of your new Amazon store is to edit all these product titles a bit to make them unique. Just make use of synonyms, spelling variations, abbreviations, or any specific product identifying information such as hiking boots or umbrella. Keep it simple, but in your own way. You can also use free online paraphrasing tools to simplify the process. Don't forget to save your changes. Log into your Amazon Seller Central account, then click Add Products via Upload. To upload your product feed, open the Upload Your Spreadsheet tab. In the Upload File box, drag and drop the inventory file or click Browse Files. After choosing the needed Excel file, push the Open button. You can add your email address to receive an email alert. Wait for the validation of the file. If required, you can reset and replace your file. You might get this error while uploading the file. Please ignore it and proceed with the upload. On your spreadsheet upload status page, check your feed upload status. There are multiple. In progress means your feed has not completed processing. In this case, don't do anything, just wait. Done means your product feed is successfully uploaded. No actions needed for you. You can start selling right away. If you, however, need to check if everything's been uploaded correctly, click Manage All Inventory. If you see that some products are active but missing some information like pictures, right after the upload, don't rush. Give Amazon some more time to fully process the info and activate your products. If you need to change some product information, push the Edit button. Action Required means items are not activated due to errors. These are not common, but below this video, you'll find the link to the PDF file that includes all the possible problems you might face here and the instructions on how you can figure them out. Thanks for watching and good luck on your way to big Amazon profits.